Hey my love, welcome back to my channel. I am Zashi for those who don't know. Thank you so much for tuning in. So for today's video, I will be playing with some makeup. So without wasting any further time, let's get into this video. So firstly, I took my L'Oreal concealer as my eyeshadow base. So I applied it onto my eyelids and I blended this concealer using a small beauty blender just to make sure I blend it precisely. So what I've been doing lately is that I blend out my concealer, then immediately I go in with my eyeshadow shade. I don't set the concealer with any loose or translucent powder. I'm doing this so that I have extra pigment of the eyeshadow shades. So for today's eyeshadow look, I took one of my Makeup Revolution eyeshadow palettes. This eyeshadow palette is very nude brown and i really like it for everyday use so from this eyeshadow palette i took a small flat blending brush and i took that light brown shade and i started packing that shade onto my eyelid so when blending out your eyeshadow you first pack your shade and then you blend it out you don't blend out immediately because the moment you do that especially if you didn't set your concealer you will have a very patchy eyeshadow look so you first pack the shade and then you start blending it so next up i took another clean blending brush and i took that light brown shade it is lighter than the first shade i used so i used this shade just to blend out the perimeters of the first shade removing any harsh lines So what I do on one eye, I also do on the other eye. And you will also notice that I am still going in with the first shade, packing that shade until I feel I'm satisfied with the pigment that I have on my eyelid. So I'm just going back and forth with the first shade and blending it out with the second shade. To darken up that lid shade, I'm going in with another brown shade on this eyeshadow palette. So I will just use brown shades until I feel the eyeshadow look is as dark as I want it to be. So moving over to the lower lash line, I really wanted a pop of color so I took this NYX of Tropics palette and I took that purple shade from this eyeshadow palette. So it turned out to be a bit light than what I wanted, but you will also see me darken up that purple shade. So I took this shade on a small pencil brush so that this shade can be precisely on the lower lash line. So 
So to darken up that um, purple shade, I took this second shade, which is also purple, and I darkened up that lower lash line, and I really like the look of this. So after applying this shade, I took a small blending brush to blend out any harsh lines and to even out that eyeshadow shade. To dust away any fallout from the eyeshadow, I took my Yardley translucent powder on a small blending brush and I just dusted my under eye. To set my under eye, I took my Fit Me powder. This is a face powder. This is a very yellowy powder, so I took it on a pointed brush and I just applied it on my under eye, setting my under eye. For eyeliner, I went in with my Wet n Wild eyeliner in the shade Black. I am a black eyeliner person. There's no makeup look I do without applying a black eyeliner. For mascara, I took my Essence All Eyes On Me mascara and I applied it before I go in with my falsies. I think this is one of my favorite mascaras from Essence. So after applying mascara, I went in with my NYX Sweet Cheeks blush and I just blushed my face up. Really like the look of blush lately. There's no makeup look where I don't apply blush. I am in love with blush, but I need to get affordable blushes because I'm really enjoying a blush on my cheeks. To highlight the tip of my nose, I like my nose contour by the way. So to highlight the tip of my nose, I went in with my regular Wet n Wild highlighter on a blending brush. So for the inner corner of my eye, I took another Makeup Revolution eyeshadow palette. I wanted the inner corner of my eye to be a pinky shimmery shade. So I decided to take this eyeshadow palette because it had the perfect um, shimmery shade for the inner corner of my eye. I really liked the look of that. So I applied this inner corner using a pointy brush. For my lips, I use the regular lip liners, which is my LA Girl lip liner in the shade Espresso. And I darken that lip liner up with my Mimikyu lip liner in the shade Brown. So for today's lip combo, I decided to try out this lip liqueur from NYX. I've never used it before, so I decided let me try it out. To be quite honest, at the moment, I'm not liking the look of it. So I went in with my regular matte um, lipsticks. So I will try this one again, another time, another video and i will see how it looks throughout the day so i first tried this one and i topped it off with my soft matte lip cream but i didn't like the result of that so i went back to my regular lip combo so i changed that lip combo i decided to just go in with my NYX Lip Lingerie Lippy and I also topped it off with the Soft Matte Lip Cream so I used this for this lip 
combo because I wasn't feeling the first one. So to finish off this look, I will set my face with my setting spray. Then I will go in with my mascara on my bottom lash line. So I will just go in with a bit of the inner corner, just a bit. Okay, cool, there we go. What the hell did the setting spray just do on my face? Let me quickly fix this, please. Please. Oh, child. Boy. So this is the finished look. That setting spray almost ruined this face. After doing my makeup, it almost ruined everything for me. But I fixed everything with powder. So this is the final look of just playing with the makeup. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share the video, and also turn on your post notification bell so that you get notified every single time I post a new video. I will see you in my next upload.